Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today. This is Steph Be Hot Yoga Atlanta. We're going to teach a 75 minute class again today. We're live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for joining. We're going to start at five o'clock. So we still have another three minutes. If you're rewatching, you can scoot forward about three minutes and that should be right when we um, start getting started on our mats. But for everyone else, hope you're, you know, if you're joining us live today, thanks for tuning in again, go ahead and get everything together. Get yourself set up. You can start here just a sec. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Dozer, come up, sit up. I'm here today with my pup, Dozer. He will probably not be joining for the class. He doesn't even do down dog very well, but we are trying. We're learning new tricks, right, Dozer? Do you say hi to everyone? Does he look at everyone? Yes. He's a rescue mutt. He's really enjoying the warm weather. We are practicing uh, live outdoors today because it is a lovely, beautiful 82 degrees outside and the sun is out. Where of course we got shade in our backyard, but uh, it feels wonderful and warm. Not quite the uh, 105 degrees uh, that we are used to in the hot yoga studio, but hey, it was pretty close. Better than um, what I've got indoors right now. So thanks for joining Dan. Do you say hi to Dan? <laughs> yeah. He enjoys the yoga, the savasana part, the stretches. Not quite so much the balancing. Go ahead, sit up. Go ahead, sit up. Say hi to everyone. Sit. Go ahead, sit. Yeah. People can't see you when you're all that way down, though. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, we still have another couple minutes here. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, yeah, just another little update. I'm sure y'all have heard, um, if you guys have been joining us for a while, that we are about to swap to Zoom classes instead. So we've got a lot of, um, there's emails heading your way and stuff on social media about how to get that set up. It'll be through Mind and Body, and then that'll give you a link for um, the Zoom classes. And so we're excited that we will be able to see you guys practicing. Um, if you want to, totally don't have to. Um, then we can give you feedback, encouragement, um, have little chats before and after the class. So up until we, you know, we're looking at the reopening stuff, we will keep you all updated with that as well. But until then, we love these classes. We love doing the live stream. It's a pretty fun learning how to teach yoga to an empty room. <laughs> uh, so seeing yourself reflected, maybe not empty. I know you're here too, yes. Or with pets, you know, Alan's had a ton of fun with his cats at home doing yoga with them, clawing up his legs. Uh, and of course, Susanna and Diana with all their pets. Dozer has um, been here sometimes. He thinks it's fun. Odd that I'm speaking to nobody, you know, <laughs> but we've been enjoying them. So let's see. Oh, and it is five o'clock. So hello everyone on YouTube. Hello everyone on Facebook. We are going to get started here. So go ahead and we'll start standing in the center of our mats. You want to stay out here? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. We can stay out here. We don't get in the way, okay? So we start our class in the center of our mats. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we make sure, yeah, we got everything in the frame here. All right. And on YouTube as well. Great. I'm going to change that view real quick. Sorry, guys. Get started here in just one minute. All right. So, as usual, we start in the center of our mats. Bring your toes and heels together to touch. Go ahead and stand tall. Uh, we're going to have the next 75 minutes of a moving meditation, 26 and 2 series. Um, that will be 26 postures, 2 breathing exercises. I'll lead you through every step with every posture. So we start with pranayama breathing. It's six count. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. We add some arm movements to help open and close the throat. So relax your shoulders down and back. Stand tall. Ground yourself here. Take a moment. And let's begin. Interlace your fingers underneath your chin, thumbs touching your throat. And let's begin. Inhale through your nose, elbows float up, spine stretches up, fill those lungs up and hold and exhale, head back, mouth open, elbows stretch forward and then they come to touch and inhale. Now drop your head down, your chin gently on your knuckles here, your 
Now looking straight forward and your elbows float up and hold and exhale. Gently drop that head back, nothing forced. Just your neck is bending, not your back. And now your elbows reaching forward, palms, wrists, elbows come to touch. And inhale. Your elbows come out and then they float up and your gaze comes forward. Fill your lungs up and hold and exhale. Drop that head back. Mouth is open. Remember, if you're fogging up a mirror here, and inhale. Through your nose, mouth is closed. Tongue away from the roof of your mouth to open up your throat, and exhale. Gently drop that head back. Let every drop of air out. Let your elbows come to touch and press, and inhale. May your elbows don't go down below your shoulders and pause and exhale. Elbows stay above your shoulders and the tricep muscles are in line with your shoulders. Elbows come to touch and inhale. Last one, first set, biggest breath. Expand that rib cage, expand your chest and your lungs and exhale. Now just let it all go, release every last drop of air here and finish. Bring your arms down by your sides, shake it out a little. We'll do a second set. Again, we're just coordinating our breath and our movement here uh, as we're going to do through the rest of class. So inhales and exhales will happen with every, you know, getting deeper or coming in or out of postures. All right, interlace your fingers, maybe opposite way around, knuckles under your chin, thumb touching your throat. And let's begin. Inhale through your nose for five, four, three, two, and one. And exhale for six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pause and inhale. Deep breath here. And hold and exhale. Elbow touch and inhale. Now coordinate this breath with the movement here. And exhale. Only when your lungs are completely empty, then those elbows come to touch. So take it slow here. And inhale. Ground yourself through your feet. Engage your quads. Engage your core. Relax those shoulders down. And exhale. Keep your legs strong. Keep that belly in and up. It's pushing the air out. And inhale. Really lift your chest, feel the expansion of your rib cage up and out, and exhale. You can think about using your arms here to squeeze every last drop of air out like an accordion, and inhale. Spine is straight, traction that spine up, and exhale. Spine stays straight. Inhale, last one. Biggest breath of the day. And exhale. Let it all go. Let those worries, those anxieties all go. And move. And change. Arms down by your side and shake out the shoulders a little bit if you like. Now just inhale and exhale only through your nose for the rest of class. This helps keep that nice, constant, steady breathing here. Make sure you're not, you know, overly working or panting or anything. And it'll help keep your heart rate down as well. All right, so let's get started warming up with half moon. Inhale, arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Lock out those arms by your ears. Stand up tall here. Your legs are strong. Inhale, lengthen up. Lift your chest. And now exhale. Go opposite, both directions, right, left, right, left a couple of times. Warm up your spine here. Shift those hips back and forth as well. Try to get the whole body involved, the whole spine. Maybe do some little circles here, back and forth, whatever feels good today. Loosen up your spine here, and then come back to the center. All right, we're going to go both sides. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen up. Exhale, bend your upper body to the right. Your hips go left. And we're going to do just about a minute, so... 
relax into this here. Nothing forced. Relax those shoulders down. Your arms are straight and strong, though. Your grip is nice and tight. Try to get the bottom of your palms touching as well. Your legs are strong. Your core is engaged. You're looking up out of your waist and over to the right. So you're not hinging at your hips. You're making a nice, beautiful crescent moon shape with your spine here. Use your right arm to pull that left up and over, feeling that extension all along your left side body from your ankle to your fingertips. But don't lose it in that right side as well. So lifting up. You don't want to crunch there. Lift your chest. Look up. Chin away from your chest to open up that throat. Keep breathing here. Inhale for length. Exhale for depth. And change. Inhale. Come back up to center. Reset. Inhale. Lengthen up. Exhale. Over to the left. Your hips go right. Same thing here. Take it nice and easy. Feel your left arm pulling your right up and over this time. So you have that stretch all along your right side body, all along those obliques, your armpits down, your legs to your ankles here. Lift your chest and your chin. It's like you're squeezed between two panes of glass if you saw yourself from the side here. So we really only want to get this lateral um, movement here. Open up the spine in that direction. Inhale for length and strength. Exhale for depth and flexibility here. Point those fingers back, maybe to the back left, just a little bit. One more place and change. Inhale back up to center. Shake it out a little, reset. And now we'll do our first back bend. So drop your head back all the way and just let it go. Relax your neck completely. Strengthen your legs. And your core, inhale, lift your chest, strong arms, stretch them up and now stretch them back and look back, lean back, go back, relax your arms and shoulders back. Keep breathing here, don't hold your breath. Squeeze your arms together, stretch those arms up and back. Stomach, hips and thighs come forward, but shift your weight back into your heels. Lift your chest up, feel that traction in your spine up. Look back, lean back, go back. One more place and change. Inhale, come back up with control. Use your abdominal muscles. Exhale, hinge forward, straight spine. Bend your knees if you need to and bring your hands to the floor in front of you. And now just walk it out. You can bend your knees right, left, right, left a couple of times. Keep those heels on the ground. Do your lower back opening up or squat down. Kind of like a little freestyle warm up here. So you can do some squats. You can do some lunges if you want something more dynamic. Or just hang there and ragdoll for a moment. Whatever feels good for you today. And then we're going to set up for hands to feet pose. So bend your knees, compress your upper body on your lower body, and drop your head. Reach around, scoop up your heels from behind. All five fingers underneath, or you can grab your calves or the backs of your leg, wherever works, but you really want to keep that compression of your upper body on your lower body. Drop your head and now lift your hips. Keep that compression. Eyes open, breathing normally. Lift those hips to get that nice hamstring, back of the leg stretch here. Drop your head to release that neck. You feel it go into your lower back as well. Shift the weight forward slightly into the ball of your feet and change. Arms out in front of you, palms touch. Inhale, come up. And exhale your arms down by your side and breathe. Beautiful start to class there, everyone. See how everything's going. All right. Hey, Bruce, thanks for joining. Thanks, everyone, for joining live. It's awesome. Imagine people practicing with you. <laughs> I miss it. So, all right, we're going to do that set one more time, working our spine right, left, backwards, and forwards again. Inhale, arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers, release your next fingers. Lock out those arms by your ears, maybe a little bit behind them. Stand up tall. Inhale, lengthen up out of your waist, and exhale, bend your upper body to the right. Your hips go left. Maybe go right to where you left off first set. We're only in it for 30 seconds this time. So maybe just go for it. 
Maybe make some adjustments here with your alignment. So your hips and your armpits should be facing forward. Maybe bring that left hip forward, that right shoulder forward to make sure that you're square in front of you. Inhale for length and strength. Feel yourself getting longer and taller and stronger here. Exhale, get a little bit deeper here. Beautiful stretch. Keep that chest lifted and change. Come back up to center. Reset. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, over. Hips right, upper body left. Feel that stretch all along your side. Keep breathing normally here. Nothing forced. You can relax those shoulders down. So you don't want to be crunching up by your ears, your shoulders, and get real tired doing that. <laughs> Did that for years. Trying to reach up out. It's a little bit too much. So just feel that extension, that length, that depth, that strength you're building here. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, get a little bit deeper. Feel your spine lengthening here. And change. Come back up to center. All right, next back bend. Feel. Now in, you can drop your head back first if you'd like. Maybe just look straight up towards the ceiling at first. Inhale, reach up, stretch up, reach back, go back. Your stomach, hips, and thighs stay forward. So think about your upper spine bending first. Think about your chest lifting. Think about the lift you're creating between your shoulder blades here to get that upper spine bending first. It naturally bends forwards. It's pretty hard to, to bend this naturally. But really, you want to get that first before your lower back. And eventually you can hinge a little bit more at your hips as you reach back, look back, go back, stretch back, lift that chest, reach those arms back, relax into your here, and change. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hinge forward. Now the second little freestyle warm up here, whatever you'd like to do. Second set. You're maybe not feeling quite warmed up yet. I don't know. Maybe you want to do some... Uh, chaturangas or push-ups or do some lunges to get those muscles warmed up you're more than welcome to i usually like just doing some squats here open up those hips a little bit maybe come up on those toes crack them maybe just hang your head by your shins hang a rag doll and gently sway maybe those hands come up over your head and you relax those shoulders open those up as well Whatever feels good. But now let's get started. Get back to it. Hands to feet pose. Second set. So go ahead and bend your, bring your toes and your heels back together. Bend your knees, bring your upper body on your lower body. Reach around, grab the backs of your calves, your legs, maybe scoot them all the way down. Grab your heels from behind. Drop your head and now lift your hips. Try to get those elbows closer together behind you. Can readjust a little bit here. They should be right alongside your calves. Your elbows should be pointed to the back wall behind you. Drop your head, lift those hips. So we're hoping to get the stretch not only in our hamstrings but also our back here. Shift the way forward into your balls of your feet a little bit more here. Shoulders relax up and change. Arms out in front of you, palms together. Inhale, come up. Exhale those arms down by your side and breathe. All right. Awkward pose. Three-part chair pose. Working our major muscles. Right foot steps out to the right. You can put distance apart so you can put two fists between your toes and your heels if you would like to measure and then come on back up. All right. Feet can point as straight forward. Inhale, arms up. In line with your shoulders, palms face down. Now exhale, sit down and back to the level of a chair that's just too far behind you. Keep those knees six inches apart. Keep those arms six inches apart. Relax those shoulders down and back. Lift your chest. Drop your hips. Think about shifting the weight back into your heels. Think about engaging your core and change. Push up through your heels. Second part, come up onto your tiptoes as high as you can. We're finding your balance here. Think about putting the weight a little bit more in between your first and second toe ball of the foot. And if you have your balance here and you want to move forward, you can slowly start to bend those knees, 
keeping those heels as high as you can. Ideally, they're perpendicular to the floor the whole time. They're not lowering at all. If you come all the way down, your, your thighs are parallel to the floor, no lower. You're making a box with your arms, your body, and your thighs. We're going to engage those thighs, engage your arms, and change. Come on back up. Heels come down. Third part, come up just a little bit. Squeeze those knees together. And now slowly come down. Squeeze those knees. Inner thighs are working. If your knees hurt, stop wherever you need to. Your back is straight, parallel to the back wall if there's one behind you. So if you're falling forward or you're falling backwards, you've got a little too far, so just stop there. But if you come all the way down, you're hovering above your heels. So ideally, you don't fall on them because you lose the abdominal contraction. You really want to engage your core to keep yourself lifted up. Squeeze those legs together, everyone, and then slowly come back up with control. And change. Heels down, feet back together, arms by your side. Come on, breathe. Shake up those legs a sec here. Second set. Right foot steps out, right into your footprint. Feet are straight on. Inhale, arms up, in line with your shoulders. And exhale, sit down and back to the level of a chair that's too far behind you. Relax those shoulders down and back. Lift your chest, looking straight forward. Shift the weight back into your heels. Try to sit lower. Engage your arms, biceps and triceps here. Engage your core, belly button to tailbone. A little bit lower and change. Switch up to your heels. Second part, come up on those tiptoes. As high as you can. Great for your toes and your ankle joints here. Engage those quads. And now slowly come back. So your thighs are parallel to four. Stop where you're comfortable at. Again, your spine is straight. So in line with the back wall behind you. Engage those quads. Hold it here. Find that core strength and change. Come on back up. Heels come down. Third part. Squeeze those inner thighs together. It's called awkward for a reason. Slowly come down for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And just hold it here at the bottom. Think about getting those knees lower than your hips. Those hips are hovering above your heels. Your arms are strong. Your core is engaged. Hold it here. And now come up one inch and hold wherever you are. Come up another inch and hold it there. And then slowly come all the way back up. Heels down. Arms down by your side. And breathe. Just inhale. Exhale. Breath. Eagle. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, swing your right arm under your left, cross your wrist, right elbow under left elbow. Hands in prayer in front of your face, thumbs to your nose, or you can grab opposite shoulders if that's easier for you. And now sit down low. Shift the weight back in your heels. Inhale, your right leg up and over your left knee corner. Point those toes, and you're in it here. This is your posture. Lift your chest. Sit down low. Squeeze everything in together. Find your focus and your balance here. Point those toes. They can wrap around your calf muscle. If you'd like, if you can, you can always use them as a kickstand if that's what you need to do today and change. Come on up, unwind. Arms up, palms touch. Exhale, left under right. Swing your Left arm under your right arm. Get your hands in prayer in front of your face. You can interlace your fingers if that helps you get the grip a little bit. And then sit down low. Now keep those hips low and bring that right leg up or that left leg up and over the right knee corner. Maybe get that wrap. For some reason, the wrap's easier for me on this side. Sometimes I can get it. Other days I can't. But maybe just try to get those shins touching. Whatever you can do here. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Elbows down, lift your chest, sit down low and change, unwind, inhale, arms up, palms touch, we're going to go right into the second set, exhale, swing that right under the left, you can really bring your body down to help you get that wrap if you would like, thumbs towards your face, elbows down low, sit low, stay low, and now bring that right leg up high, maybe it taps your elbows here, and then slowly start to bring it down on that side of your left leg. Really try to get that wrap high with your thigh here. Squeeze everything in together. Lift your chest. 
You want your shoulders and your hips to be square and level. Maybe make those adjustments. That means they're both facing the same direction. And they're both on the same floor. And change. Inhale, come up, unwind. Palms touch. Left under right. Cross twist. Palms in prayer. Elbows low to open up those shoulder blades. Sit down low. Stay low. Bring that left leg up and over. Really try to get it high, that cross on your inner thigh. Maybe get that wrap with your calf. Point those toes down. Squeeze it in together. We're working all our major joints here. So our shoulders, our elbows, and our wrists. Our hips, our knees, and our ankles here. Beautiful focus, everyone. Find your balance, your eagle eye focus. And change. Unwind. Arms up. Palms touch. And exhale. Your arms down by your side. And breathe. All right, a quick little break here, uh, especially in the hot room, this is the part where we grab some water. You're more than welcome to grab water whenever you might need to during class. You know, always listen to your body, to yoga practice. We're just here to have fun and see, you know, what we can do today, how we can use these postures to help build our own strength and our flexibility and, you know, our mental clarity. Um, you know, lower our stress levels. There's all those benefits of yoga I know everyone's heard of. You know, but you make it your own practice. Everyone comes to yoga for a different reason, whether it's, you know, for that physical exercise and exertion or it's just to, you know, de-stress and do minimal work. Up to you. Make it what you can. All right. So let's go ahead and move right along. We're going to start with the balancing series, standing head to knee. So come back to the center of your mat, toes and heels together. Inhale your right leg up, and we're in it. Thigh parallel to the floor. We're in it for a minute. You balance here. So you can stay here with your arms by your side. You can grab just below your knee at your shin. Try to just not rely on that grip necessarily. Or you can go in and round forward and grab the ball of your foot, all five fingers underneath. But everyone really focus on that strong standing leg no matter where you are or what you're gripping that left leg is really important here engage the quad and the hamstring here and you want it straight we say lock the knee but that doesn't mean hyperextend it that means engage your muscles to keep that knee straight here and you can go and advance forward if you're ready for more than halfway and if you have that foot you can maybe start to ease that heel out towards the mirror but stop if that standing leg starts bending so stop wherever you need to if your leg is straight and it's parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Point those toes back towards your head. Engage both quads here and change, reverse out. Stand tall. Other side. Left leg up and you're in it. Go ahead and get whatever grip you did on the other side. If you're standing here, I encourage you to try and make these right angles. So thigh parallel to the floor, shin parallel to the front wall and your foot is flexed here and hold it here. We're gonna engage your core. That standing right leg now should be your focus. Think about using your core, your hip flexors, your quad muscles, both of them, to really keep both legs straight and strong here. And if you're you know, up like this, those shoulders are relaxed down and back, you're standing tall. Those hips are level and square. You're grounded through your foot. If you're advancing on, go ahead and round forward. Exhale and bring all five fingers underneath the ball of your foot over halfway. So if you're advancing forward, go ahead and start kicking that heel out towards the mirror. Keep that standing leg strong. Keep recontracting that right quad, everyone. And your heel starts easing out towards the mirror. If it's straight, it's parallel to the floor. Flex those toes back towards your head. Everyone keep that chest lifted and engaged here. And change, reverse out. And tall. We're gonna do that again, half the time. All right, inhale your right leg up, side parallel to the floor, and go for it. Only 30 seconds here, so round over, grab that ball of your foot if you're advancing forward. Maybe slowly start to kick that heel out. Maybe just try to get that shin parallel in front of you. Lift your chest if that leg is out, and both legs are locked and straight. Flex those toes back towards your head and slowly bring your elbows down towards your calf muscles. Maybe they hug in, maybe they come below your calf muscle. 
Shift the weight forward into your toes. Everyone, the last part is to drop your forehead to your knee. Hold it here. Find your balance. If you really want to try something new today, maybe you will let go of your foot and see if you can hold it there. <laughs> and change. Reverse out. Stand tall. I'm working on that one. All right. Other side. Inhale that left leg up and go for it. If you're rounding over, grab the ball of your foot. Go ahead and do it. Really engage that standing leg, everyone. Focus on your balance here. Really strong strength, balancing posture. If that top leg is straight, engage both legs, engage, engage both quads, bring your elbows down towards your calf muscles, maybe below them. Drop your forehead to your knee. Everyone find a point of focus for balance. If you want to challenge today, if you're here and you want to try, release those arms. Small hand change. Reverse out and stand tall. You know, you can always have fun all of those postures if you're, you know, usually holding your shin there for the whole time. You know, maybe one class you just try it. See how long you can let go of that grip. If you fall out, you fall out. Always get back in it. All right. So, advancing on. Standing bow. Drop your right hand behind you. Inside of your elbow faces out. Your shoulder opens up to that right side as well. Bend that right knee and grab your ankle from the inside. The inside of your elbow is still facing out. All five fingers together, right where your shoelaces were be. Bring your knees back together. Standing tall, engage that standing leg. Inhale your left arm up, chin to shoulder. Reach up and now kick. Kick your left right leg back and up when you're ready. Point those toes. But nothing to rush here. We're in it for a minute. <laughs> so just work on this balance here in the beginning. If you like, really focus on that kick, kicking back in the beginning. Relax your right arm your right shoulder really let the kick drive the posture it pulls your right arm behind you opens up your chest to the right side of the room here reach up with your left arm and we're halfway so you can go ahead and bring, come forward if you're ready you can start to bring your abdomen down parallel to the floor your left arm will come forward following your head try to keep your head level point those toes up you're kicking you're reaching you're balancing you're breathing with equal strength and flex ability keep breathing here keep at it for five four three two and one and change release reverse out and breathe other side left arm drop your left arm behind you palm faces out inside the elbow faces out your shoulder opens up here go ahead and get the left shoulder to come behind the right knee you want to open it up here knees and thighs back together standing tall inhale your right arm up now lengthen up, chin to shoulder, kick that left leg back and up, point those toes. Here we go, we're in it for a minute. So really focus on that kick here, it drives this posture. You're not really trying to, coming forward isn't the main goal, you're really trying to get your back bend here. So really feel that left hip opening up, feel that left shoulder being pulled back, the left chest opening up to the left side of the room kick, reach, balance, and breathe, and you can bring your upper body down, your arm will follow, kick, reach, balance, and breathe, for five, four, three, two, and one, and change, reverse out, arms by your side, and breathe, you really feel it in your back here. All right, we're gonna do it again, only half the time. So maybe just go for it. Maybe bring your kick up and your upper body down at the same time. Fall out, get back in it. Just try to end on one leg. All right, so we'll do it one more time. Right hand behind you, palm faces out, bend that knee, grab that foot. Knees together, inhale your left arm up and go. Kick, reach, balance, breathe. Right arm gets pulled back. Your upper body comes down. Your arm will follow. Maybe your abdomen comes parallel to the floor. Your left arm is reaching straight forward. Now shift the weight forward in your toes. You're kicking and you're reaching with equal strength. Stay balance on that standing leg for five, four, three, two, and one. And change, reverse out and breathe. Other side, left arm, drop it back, grab that ankle, 
Inhale your left arm up, chin to shoulder, reach up, stretch up, and go. Kick that left leg back and up. Really let that left shoulder be pulled back here. Your back, your beautiful back bend here. Your right arm is reaching forward, looking straight forward. Try to get that head level. Your kick, reach, bounce, breathe. Feel that extension from fingertip to fingertip. Bring your upper body down just a little bit more. One more. Place and change, reverse out. Arms by your side and breathe. Beautiful postures, everyone. Balancing stick. It is a 10 second posture, also known as Warrior Three. You do anything for 10 seconds. Let's try it. Inhale, arms up overhead. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, lock out those arms by your ears. Now your right foot steps forward. You shift the weight forward, point the left toes, and now go leg up body down, engage your core, look four feet in front of you on the floor, your chest is still lifted, you're looking forward, keep breathing, and change, step back, arms stay up, left foot steps forward, shift the weight, point the toes, and go for 10 seconds, leg up, body down, hold it here, keep breathing, engage your core, every muscle in that right leg is straight and strong, keep breathing one more place, and change, step back. Arms down by your side. And breathe. Remember to inhale and exhale during the posture as well. It'll help with that balance and that focus. All right, second set. You can change out the swap of your arms this time if you would like. So if you want to put your hands on your hips, if you want to separate your arms shoulder width if you have any shoulder tightness issues, or maybe when you come all the way down, you want to do a little swan dive at the end, where you can go beyond you know, 90 if you'd like. There's plenty of things to try out and have fun with today. All right, arms up if you're doing that grip. Right foot steps forward, shift the weight, point the toes, and let's go. Leg up, body down. Keep that left hip down. The hips are parallel to the floor. Point those back toes, reaching forward, stretching back. Engage your core, left hip down, and change. Step back. Arms stay up, left side, point the toes, step forward, shift the weight, point the toes and go. Now keep that right hip down the whole time, hips are squared before, your core is engaged, your arms are strong, your legs are strong. Looking forward, keep breathing, one more place, and change, come on back. Exhale, arms down by your side and breathe. Now we're going to move on with a separate leg stretching. So come to one side of your mat. Inversion posture. Inhale, arms up over your head. Palms touch. Right foot steps out to the right. Big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Palms are down. Feet straight on or maybe pigeon toed in slightly. Go ahead, shift the weight forward a little bit. Lift your chest. Maybe lean back. Exhale, swan dive forward. Take your time. And bring your hands to the floor in front of you or go ahead and scoop up the sides of your feet or your heels or the backs of your legs and just relax into this here. Just work on stretching out those legs so you can try to keep that spine straight here. Maybe bring your arms way out in front of you. Is it like a wide-legged down dog maybe? Breathe into this here. You can walk your hands back towards your feet. There's a lot of variations for this pose. Really trying to get that inner thigh, that leg stretch all down the back of your leg. If you keep that spine straight, it'll help get into your back as well. So if you contract those quadriceps, it'll help release the hamstrings. If you pull your belly in and up, it'll release your lower back. Relax into it and change. Come on back up. Inhale. Step your feet back together and exhale those arms down by your side and breathe. Second set. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, right foot steps out to the right. Adjust your step if you need to this time, maybe wider or shorter. Well, with your flexibility a little bit more, or challenge it a little bit more. All right, inhale, stretch up, lengthen up, exhale, hinge forward. Maybe you go ahead and slide your hands down the back sides of your legs this time. You can grab your ankles, sides of your feet, 
or your heels here. Lift your chest and exhale, hinge forward. Think about getting your chest down towards the floor, the top of your, or the forehead to the floor, not the top of your head. So you keep that spine straight and lifted. You can always bend your knees a little bit if you need to. Pitch the weight forward a little bit, so ideally your hips to come over your heels here. You don't want to be falling back. Lift that chest. Exhale, come forward. Reach forward. Elbows point towards the back wall if you have a grip. Those biceps to pull your upper body down. And change. Come on back up. Step your feet back together, arms up. And exhale those arms down by your side and breathe. Feel all that fresh blood rushing back down. It's a deep inversion posture there. Triangle. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, right foot steps out. To the right, big step, arms parallel. Now pivot on your heels, pivot your right heel. Pivot your toes out to the right, on your heel. Left toes can come in just a little bit. Standing strong, and now exhale, lunge over to that right side. Try to bring your thigh parallel to the floor. Your knee is right over your ankle here. Strong where your two arms are strong. And when you're ready, windmill your arms to the right. Elbow to knee, left arm reaches straight up towards the ceiling. There's some variations in yoga on this posture. This is our Bikram triangle. Some of them reaching in you know, one direction or the other. But this one, we reach our left arm straight up and gaze up, chin to shoulder. Think about lift, keeping your upper body up as you lower your, or ground your lower body down. Keep those thighs and those quads engaged here and change. Windmill your arms back to parallel. Straighten that right leg. Right toes turn in, left toes turn out. And then lunge to the left. Sit down, maybe bounce a couple of times. Try to get that thigh parallel if you can. The deep hip opener here. Knee over ankle. And then windmill your arms to the left. Knee in front of the elbow so you can use the elbow to push that right push that left knee back to help open up that hip your right arm reaches straight up and you look up chin to shoulder looking straight up lifting your chest grounding your hips down engaging both quads reaching your left fingertips beyond your left toes find your strength here then change arms back to parallel straighten that left leg turn those left toes in Step your feet back together, arms up, and exhale those arms down by your side, and breathe. It's our top of the mountain posture, working every muscle in your body. And we're going to try it again. Inhale those arms up, palms touch, right foot steps out to the right, big step, arms down parallel, toes, right toes out, left toes in a little bit. And now sit down low. Lunge a couple of times and windmill those arms. Elbow in front of knee, right fingertips reach beyond those right toes, left fingertips reach straight up, chin to shoulder, and think about getting a straight line from your armpit to your ankle here. Straight lines of so really try to get those hips down low. Try to make a beautiful triangle shape with your body here. Open up your hips. Maybe look back to the left a little bit, get a spine twist here too, and change. Windmill your arms back to parallel, straighten that right leg, left toes out, and lunge to the left. That strong foundational posture here. Now windmill your arms to the left, left elbow in front of left knee, reaching beyond those left fingertips, or right fingertips reach straight up. Now think about using your core and your obliques here to hold yourself up. You're always welcome to put a, your forearm on your knee if you need it, but really try to use your abdominal strength, use that core strength to keep that upper body up, you know, ideally not touching the ground, really using our strength here, maybe turn your upper body to look a little bit more to the right, get the spine twist here in the end, and chain, remove those arms to parallel, come up out of the lunge, feet back together, arms up, exhale those arms down by your side and breathe, let it go. Inhale, arms up, cross your thumbs, step your feet out, just a comfortable step this time. Now pivot on your heels to the right. Just bring your left hip forward a couple of times to get those you hips square facing the same direction. Inhale, lengthen up, tuck your chin, 
and exhale, roll forward, round forward, keep that left hip forward, bend your knee and bring your forehead to your knee, get that contact here, hands come out in front of you, and you're in it. You're in this posture, your throat is choked, your eyes are open, your spine is rounding up here to really extend your spine, you're creating more length here, you're compressing your thyroid gland, great for your metabolism. And change, reverse out, palms together, roll up. When your spine is straight, pivot left. Pivot left one more time. Lengthen up, right hip forward a couple of times. Lean back, tuck your chin and exhale. Slow as you need to go, exhale all the way. Look at that belly button, right hip stays forward. Bend that left knee, bring your forehead to the knee, fingertips to the floor in front of you. And you're in it. Really try to keep that contact here. So keeping that knee bent as much as you need to. Yeah, you know, there's you know a lot of, there's you know of course this hamstring stretch here. And one day maybe both legs are straight, but really that's not the focus. It's trying to get that spine working here, extending your spine up and change. Reverse out, palms together, arms are straight. And comes up left when your spine is straight, pivot to the right, step those feet back together and exhale those arms down by your side. Return to that breath. And we'll do it again. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, step your right foot out, pivot on your heels to the right. When your ankles are either in one line or slightly separated, they can be hip width apart, it'll make your balance a little bit easier. Now inhale, lift your chest, maybe lean back a little bit, tuck your chin into your chest, compress that thyroid gland, and exhale, roll forward. The left hip stays forward, your hip stays square, your left leg stays straight, heel on the ground, but your right knee can bend and you can bring that forehead to your knee. Maybe keep your hands in prayer this time. Maybe challenge that balance this time. So first, order of business, get that forehead to your knee, get that compression. Second, work on your balance and your strength and bring those hands back into prayer and maybe just touch the tips of your fingers. Third part is when you push your left, your that leg to be straight, using your forehead, get that knee straight and change, slowly roll up. Come on up. Pivot left, pivot left. Adjust those heels if you need to, on your step. Inhale, lengthen up, tuck that chin and exhale. Right hip stays forward, right leg is straight. Left knee can bend. Touch that forehead to the knee. Arch that spine up. If you can, bring those fingertips back to prayer. Arms are straight. Engage that belly. Engage your core for your balance here. Maybe push that knee back with your forehead. One day, maybe both legs are straight. Then change. Slowly roll up. Inhale all the way up. Pivot right. Step those feet back together and exhale those arms down by your side. We've only got one more posture here in our standing series and then we'll be on the floor for the rest of class. So come back to the center of your mats. Tree and toe. All right, we'll start off the tree. Second step, if you want to go into toe, you can. Inhale that right leg up and then rotate that right knee out bring that left foot into half lotus position on your left thigh and drop that right knee down to open up this hip and now be gentle here on your hips just allow it to fall down and bring your right hand up into prayer maybe your left hand as well if your foot doesn't slip and just find your strong tree here ground yourself through your feet like a tree does with its roots Really use your core like the trunk of a tree to keep yourself lifted, balance, and change the reverse out. Left side, left leg up, rotate that knee out, place your foot in half lotus on that right thigh, and drop that knee down. And grab that foot from behind and underneath. And bring that left hand up to prayer. Maybe the right hand comes up as well. And if your foot slips, you can always grab it. You can always just try it out. Maybe just clap and come on back. And really keep those shoulders and those hips square and level here. Standing tall and change, reverse out. All right, second set. 
You can either do tree again or if you advance into toe, you can try it out. Maybe just try the first step of toe today, see if you can do it. All right, always encourage to keep trying it out. You never know what you can do until you try. All right, right leg up. Rotate that knee out and bring, try to really bring your heel up high. Try to get your heel in line with your midline, right underneath your navel here. And grab that foot from behind and underneath. Bring that right hand up to prayer. If you're going into toe, go ahead and start hinging forward. Find one point on the floor, four feet in front of you, and don't lose that point for balance. It'll really help keeping you here. Maybe you just stay here for a while. Just hinge forward to help open up that hamstring. Then you can bring your hands into prayer and just hold it there. If you're, keeping, if you're going forward, go ahead and follow it to your hands in front of you. They can be really wide and really far in front of you. Now bend your knee and lift your heel up. And then slowly walk those hands back towards your hips. You're still focusing on that one unmoving point in front of you. And now bring your hands up to prayer. One at a time if you need to. Squeeze those knees together. Your hips are hovering above your heels. And the last part is we'll look straight forward. Find your balance here. Maybe kick that right leg out straight out in front of you. And change. Reverse out. Come on. Back up to meet the trees. And change. Reverse out. Second set, Ooh, big hip opener. Left leg up, bring that heel into midline. Really try to get up as high as you can. Drop it on your thigh, open up that knee here. Bring that left hand up to prayer. Maybe that right, you're going into toe, hinge forward. Look at that one unmoving point in front of you for balance. Fall into your hands, bend that knee, lift the heel, and it'll walk your hands back. Maybe you can just stay here and hover for a little bit. You can use blocks if you need to, maybe. Bring those hands up one at a time. Use your core, everyone stand tall. Traction your spine up. Your toe, maybe you reach that top leg straight out. And reverse out. Slowly come on back up, meet the trees. And change, reverse out. Take a few deep breaths here. And when you're ready, turn around, lie down for Savasana. Quick Savasana as we transition onto our floor series. Standing, starting with, we're moving forward. Don't worry about that now. Just lay down in Savasana. Take a moment. You got a little bit of time here just to reset. Let it all go. And just take a moment here. Feel how you feel. Notice any physical sensations running through your body here. How much more open your hips probably feel. Warmed up your muscles are. Maybe notice your heart rate has increased. Notice your breaths. That belly and that chest rising and falling. Maybe you're just noting the sounds and sensations around you. The sensations of your skin. I'm outside, so it's the birds and the wind through the trees. Hopefully it's not too loud for y'all. Feeling the breeze that passes through. Just take this time to note it. No worries, no fears, no stress. Let it go. Wind removing pose. Inhale your right leg up, interlace your fingers on top of your shin just below the kneecap and pull that knee down towards your shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Pull it down deep into your abdomen. Keep that left leg straight, foot flex, reach that heel out and relax your right ankle completely. Pull a little bit harder and change. Left leg up. Same thing, other side, interlace your fingers on your shin and pull that knee down towards your rib cage, feeling that compression in your abdomen, the pinch in the hip here. Relax that left leg completely. The right leg is straight and strong this time. And change, release. Both legs up. Grab opposite elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your fingertips on top of your shins, and then pull your knees down and towards your chest and your abdomen. You can even just grab opposite shins if you would like. Whatever works for you here, 
but really try to get that compression here. We're giving ourselves a nice visceral massage. We're trying to get our entire spine flat on the floor here. So you tuck your chin, but keep that head down to get your neck on the floor one day. And think about rolling that tailbone down as well. And change, release. Relax. Savasana. Reset. Inhale your right leg up, get your grip on top of your shin, and pull. And you bring that knee out a little bit and rotate it in. Get that compression here. And now we're going to do a little bit of a different stretch, figure four. So bend that left knee up and place that right ankle on your left thigh and thread your arm, your right arm through to grab your left shin this time and pull. You should feel that really deep loop opening in your right butt. <laughs> Maybe even push that right knee back a little bit to feel it deeper. Hold it here. Relax into a nothing force and change. Release and relax that right leg down completely and keep that left feet up. Grab that shin and pull it down. Maybe bring the knee out a little bit. Play around with it here. What feels good to you? Now bend that right knee up. Place that left ankle on that right thigh. Thread that left arm through. Grab your shin your right shin, and now bring, pull it in down towards your chest, feel that left hip opening here, breathe into it, relax into it here, we hold a lot of stress and tension in our hips, we do this any time of the day, and change, release, and now grab opposite legs, hug them tight, and now release, and roll your tailbone down. You can release your grip slightly to help get that entire spine on the floor. You lengthen your breaths, you lengthen your spine, and change, release, and relax. Heels together, toes fall out, arms by your side, palms are up. And we'll move right along and just sit up. We use our sit-ups for energy and to really engage our core again and get our breaths reset. So squeeze those legs together, flex your feet, engage your core, low back down, inhale your arms up over your head and double exhale, come up, sit up, reach for those toes, forehead to your knees, and now turn around onto your knees and heels. Or, never mind, come down on your belly. <laughs> We're gonna do Cobra first, spine strengthening series. So come on down onto your bellies. Hands underneath your shoulders, all five fingers together, fingertips at the shoulder line, elbows in and up, chin on the towel, squeeze your legs together. Now inhale, lift your upper body up. Use 100% lower back strength, lift your chest through your arms. It's not a push up. Keep breathing, keep inhaling, look up and change. Lower down, look to the right, arms down by your side, palms are up and breathe. Reset. Second set. Arms underneath your shoulders, all five fingers together, fingertips to the shoulder line, elbows in and up. Second set, if you want to push all the way up, you can. Inhale, lift up. Maybe straighten those arms out completely and then lower them down to a 90 degree angle and hover here. You're probably using a little bit more of your arm this time to really you can feel your lower back through. Lift your chest up, shoulder blades back together behind your back. Keep breathing and change. Lower down, look left, arms by your side, palms are up and relax reset your spine here with your belly down to rock all right locust pose we're going to work our upper back this time so turn your palms down on the mat lift your hips up bring your pinky to touch underneath you palms face down lower your hips down onto your hands chin forward on the towel look forward and now lift your right leg up Straighten your right leg, point those toes, stretch that right leg back, stretch that right leg up, and change, lower down, relax it. Left leg, point those left toes, now lift them up, stretch it back, stretch it up, engage every muscle in that left leg, keep breathing, one more place and change, relax it. Third part, both legs, this is our posture, 
You readjust your hands, palms close together if you would like. Reach down towards your knees. Shift the weight forward into your chest, broaden your shoulders onto the mat. Turn your mouth down on the towel. Squeeze your legs together, engage your legs. Now inhale, lift those legs up, thighs up. Belly button comes up off of your arms. Maybe squeeze those legs together. Shift that weight forward. Push your fingertips and your hands and your forearms into the floor. Lift those hips up more and change. Lower down. Look to the right. Release those arms out from underneath you and just breathe. Mm. It's a challenging posture. Your legs are higher than you think they are. One day they'll point straight up to the ceiling. All right, second set. Just the third part. Hands down on the mat. Get them underneath you. Get those hips down. Shift the weight forward. Think about balancing on your chest one day. Squeeze those legs together. Point those toes. And now lift your legs up. Mouth down on the mat. Squeeze those legs together. Point those toes. Lift your hips. Engage your core. Lift your abdomen up. Push down your forearms. Push down to your fingertips. Push down to your hands. Shift the weight forward. Keep going. One more place. Lift them higher and change. Pull lower down. Look to the left. And breathe. Relax those shoulders down. You're not crunching your neck. All right, full locust. Time to fly. Arms out like airplane wings. In line with your shoulders, palms are down. Chin forward on that, look forward. Squeeze your legs together, point your toes, engage your arms, engage your legs, and now lift your upper body up, lift your lower body up, legs stay together, squeeze everything in tight, lift your chest, look up, eyes up, chin up, chest up, lower body up, upper body up, keep breathing and change, lower down, look to the right, and breathe, arms by your side, and reset. We go from 100% work to 100% relaxation, we're maximizing our body's efforts, maximizing, resetting, returning to that breath, controlling our heart rate. Second set, arms out like airplane wings, time to fly. Squeeze those legs together, chin forward on the towel, arms are strong. Think about where you want to fly and go. Leg up, upper body up, knees up, thighs up, chest up, looking up. Palms are now facing forward. Your arms are in line with your shoulders. If you want to change it up, you can grab your hands behind you and lift them to open up that chest. Maybe do super, super man arms in front of you. Keep lifting, chest up, look up, eyes up, and change. Lower down. Look to the left arm by your side and breathe. Third part is floor bow. We're going to bring it all together with a full back bend. Balancing on our bellies here. After working our lower, our upper, our middle back. And we got our full back bend here. So bend those knees and grab those ankles from the outside. Wrists are straight. Arms and shoulders are completely relaxed. Bring those knees back together. Toes can touch. And now inhale, kick those legs up, knees up, thighs up. Point those toes. The kick drives the posture. It pulls your shoulders and your arms back and lifts your chest up, look up, gaze up, point those toes, kick up, strong kick, strong spine, try to keep those knees hip width apart, lifting up, lift your chest, point those toes, one day making a teardrop shape, teardrop shape with your body, and chain, lower down, look to the right, arms by your side, and breathe, now if you have trouble grabbing your ankles, you can either use a prop or you can flip over and do bridge on your back instead. Or if bridge is part of your, or sorry, if wheel is part of your practice, you can do that for second set. I think I might do that. Okay, feel on the bridge. We're feeling the wheel. If you're doing bow again, go ahead and bend those knees, grab your ankles from the outside, wrists are straight. And now inhale, lift those knees up, thighs up, chin up, chest up. Your kick is driving your posture. Strong kick. 
strong spine. Lift your chest through your arms. If you're in wheel, then your chest is also lifted to your bridge. Those hips are lifting up high. Think about getting your hips off the ground. Everyone hold it here. Keep breathing. Beautiful posture. One more place. And change, release, relax. Savasana. All right, and there's one push-up in the practice. If you'd like to do it, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and push up. Come back into down dog or child's pose for a second. Walk it out if you'd like. Then we'll come to the tops of our mat for a quick set of fixed firms or hero's pose. Bring your knees together. Bring your heels out to be hip width distance apart. So you should be able to sit your hips down in between your heels. You don't want to be sitting on them. That's step one. So try to get that. If you're having trouble, you can always do it one leg at a time. So just left leg up as well. Your ankles hurt, hands forward. Stay there. Work on opening those ankles first. If your knees hurt, you can widen your knees. If you're advancing forward, you can lean back, lift your chest, bring one elbow to the ground at a time. Really keep that chest lifted, keep that arch in your spine, drop your head back, elbows come out top of the head to the floor and then your shoulders come to the floor and then you reach around and grab opposite elbows here tuck your chin and lift your chest so wherever you are feel your body opening here feel those ankles opening feel those knees opening those thighs and release into this here and then go in reverse out wherever you are and you come one elbow at a time, head comes up very last. Bring your hands in front of you and shake out those knees. Now we're going to go right into our animal series, starting with half tortoise. So we're going to stay on those knees and heels. And we'll bring our hands up for half tortoise. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms touch, cross your thumbs. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge forward, straight spine. Engage your lower abdomen. Forehead touches the floor, then baby fingers touch. Just the edge of those pinky fingers, not your wrists. Reaching forward, arms are straight. Relax those shoulders down. So relax those armpits down towards your mat. You're opening up your shoulder blades here. Relax those hips down towards your heels. You're lengthening and extending your spine. Relax that forehead onto the floor. Breathe. And change coming up and exhale those arms down by your side Breathe. camel come up onto your knees and your heels six inches apart hip width and take your time as you need to your head was on the ground now it's all the way up so if you're feeling lightheaded take it easy listen to your body all right so Bring your lower, bring your hands to your lower back. Fingers down, thumbs are out, pinkies touch. Shift those hips forward, drop your head back, lift your chest, and then lean back, go back. Or stay right here. This is our camel. It's a deep back bend here. Really try to get that thoracic spine bending first. Again, that's the hardest part for us to bend. So if you just stay up here and really focus on lifting and tractioning your spine up, you just stay there. If you're advancing forward, you can keep going to hinge at those hips and grab those ankles one at a time behind you. Just relax and do it with your deep breathing, everyone. Stomach puts you guys forward and change one hand at a time to your lower back again. If you advance forward and then slowly come up with control, bring your legs back together and sit down on your heels and breathe. Grab it. Bring your hands behind you, close to your heels. You don't have to get a grip quite yet. Inhale, lengthen up, lean back. Tuck that chin again and exhale, roll in like a snail. Look at that belly button. Exhale all the way down. Bring your forehead to your knees, top of the head. Comes to the floor, get a good grip on your heels. Thumbs are out, fingers are in, and then lift those hips up. Arch that spine up. Extend your spine, creating more space between each and every vertebra here. Arms are straight, your grip is strong, your hips 
are lifting up and forward, and there's more weight in your knees than in your head here. Keep breathing and change your verse out. Roll up. And your spine is completely straight. And turn around and lie down on your backs for a quick savasana. And release. Reset that spine here. We just did our deepest, uh, deepest postures here with an extension and then a, a lengthening and then a back bend and a forward fold. This feels better. You can bring your feet up, bring those knees back together. The feet are wide. It'll help get that lower back and lengthen that on the floor as well. But we're going to move right along with the sit-up. Second set. Squeeze your legs together. Flex your feet. Low back down. Engage your core. Inhale your arms up over your head and double exhale. Reach for those toes. Come up. Sit up. And turn around for a second set. Starting with half tortoise. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms touch, cross your thumbs. Arms up by your ears, maybe behind them, that'll help you get that forehead down first. Lengthen up, engage your core, and exhale all the way down. Squeeze those legs together, keep that core engaged. Exhale, forehead touches, baby fingers touch. Maybe one day your hips stay down on your heels the whole time you're doing that. You know, it's all a work in progress, so. Maybe sometimes I try to focus on the reach and the stretch forward in the first set, and then in the second set, I focus on trying to get my hips down to my heels. Really, it's that opposite traction here that really lengthens our spine. Relax those armpits down to separate those shoulder blades here. And change. Slowly come up. Engage that lower core. Exhale those arms down by your side. Breathe. Second set camel. You can widen your heels or your knees here if you like. Or bring your knees together. It'll challenge your flexibility here. Bring your hands to your lower back. Or if you like, you can try something different. So maybe bring in a prayer, bring your hands up and do a full like essentially a half moon back bend. Yeah. Inhale, lengthen up, chest forward, shift those hips forward, lean back, go back, lift that chest up. Think about bringing those elbows closer together behind you to really open up that chest and go back, look back. Then you bring your hands to your heels one at a time. You have your arms straight above you. Think about reaching towards the floor. Maybe one day you can grab those opposite heels. And slowly come up. Sit down on your heels and exhale your arms down by your side and breathe. Grab it. Bring your hands behind you towards your heels. Inhale, lift your chest, lean back, tuck that chin in, exhale, belly in. All the way down. Forehead to your knees, top of the head to the floor. Shoulders are up. Get your nice grip. Round your spine up, lift those hips. Engage your core here to release that lower back. Keep breathing, throat choked, eyes open. Push down with your knees to lift those hips up more. There's more weight in your knees than your head here. Shoulders up and change. Slowly roll up, pull on your heels to come all the way back up. When your spine is straight, turn around, lie down for another quick savasana. Breathe. And we made it to the end of class. Home stretch. Now for another sit up. Flex those feet. Squeeze your legs together. Engage your core. Inhale your arms up overhead. And now exhale. Come up. Exhale. Sit up. Reach for those toes. Forehead to your knees. Separate leg stretching here. So bring your right leg out in front of you. Bring your left sole of the foot on your right inner thigh. Now inhale your arms up overhead. Rotate your body to the right over your right leg. Interlace your fingers and now exhale round 
forward, grab the ball of your foot, all five fingers, bring your forehead to your knee, bend your knee as much as you need to to get that contact. You push down with your forehead onto your knee if you would like. Pull back on your toes to stretch the Achilles tendon if you like. Think about pulling those pinky toes back to your head as well. Feel how that changes the stretch here. Maybe shift the weight around into your hips a little bit and see how that feels as well. Elbows down, relax into the stretch here. Maybe one day that leg is straight and that heel is up. And change. Inhale, come on back up, swap your legs out. Left leg out, right leg in, right foot on the sole of the inner thigh. You have a right angle here created with your thighs. Round over your left leg. Maybe shift the weight around in your hips a little bit. Exhale, round forward. Grab the ball of your foot. Bend your knee, bring your elbow to, or your forehead to your knee. Relax those shoulders and those elbows down towards the floor. Pull back on your toes. Get that Achilles tendon stretch here. Breathe into it here. Maybe push that knee down with your forehead. Maybe get that heel come up off the ground one day. And change. Reverse out. Bring both legs back together. And now slowly go back. As soon as you touch the floor, double exhale. One more sit up. Reach for those toes. Now I'll do both legs stretching here. So go ahead and bring those toes together. Bend your knees, grab those big toes with your peace sign fingers, so the first two fingers. Knees stay together, compress your upper body on your lower body and walk those hips back, right, left, right, left a couple of times, try to get in your hip bones rather than your muscle there. And then exhale, stretch forward. So you can keep those knees bent however much you need to. Really try to get your stomach on your thighs, your chest on your knees. It'll help get that stretch more into your spine here rather than just your hamstrings. And you can change the grip up if that helps. Maybe grab the sides of your feet, maybe grab on top of your toes. Feel, see what feels good to you today. Maybe you can actually get those legs straight someday, elbows down, looking forward. You want a straight spine here. Maybe at the end, you just drop your head down and relax into your ear. Then change, reverse out. We'll go right into our spine twist here. So bend your left knee and bring, bend your left knee in front of you, bring the sole of your right foot up and over that left knee quarter foot flat on the floor. Adjust your hips so they're both on the ground and they're not on top of your right leg. Bring your right hand behind you as close as you can to your lower spine. Inhale your left arm up, over, and around. Grab your left knee. Lift your chest. Push down with that right hand. And now slowly look over your right shoulder and twist. Lift your chest to traction your spine, up, creating more space between the vertebra. And then exhale as you twist. Look over that shoulder. Maybe grab. Maybe put your hand on your lower back or grab that left inner thigh if you can. Inhale for length, exhale, and twist. And change. Reverse out, unwind. Swap those legs out. Bend your right knee. Bring that left sole of the foot over that right thigh. Maybe adjust those hips. Left hand behind you. Right arm up, over, and around. Grab that right knee. Ideally, the ankle, the hand, and then you touch. Push down with your right hand, your left hand to lift that spine up, traction that spine up, and exhale, look over your left shoulder. And breathe into this here. Your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, and your neck twisting here. Inhale for length. Exhale. And change. Unwind. And we'll do our final breathing here. So whatever comfortable position might be for you today, you're cross-legged, maybe lotus, or maybe you're sitting on your knees and heels. That's typically what I do. Our final breathing is Kabbalah Bhati breathing. It is a little abdominal workout here, also called fire breath. So we're going to 
have some deep exhale breaths, really contracting our lower abdominal, our mula, our bandhas here. It pushes the air up and out of your chest, pushes that diaphragm up. The inhales will happen automatically. So you're gonna relax your arms down, straight spine, relax those shoulders down and back. Inhale a little bit and exhale. <sighs> Times, just take it easy, return to normal breath, lie down on your mats, on your backs for your final savasana here. Take however long you would like. Take this time to allow your body to reset again, maybe do some mindfulness, some awareness here. Just come in tune with your body and see how differently it feels now from what it did in the beginning of class. The other side, you might be sore in some places you didn't know existed or might be more exhausted maybe just embrace that exhaustion feel how loose and relaxed your muscles are now so we thank you again for joining us it was a pleasure and honor to lead you through your practice today uh, as always thank you thank you looking forward to next time keep in touch on behalf of everyone at be hot yoga atlanta have a lovely wonderful rest of your afternoon namaste